Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 59, titled Get High, or a better map view. So, in Cataclysm, you can see a certain distance around yourself uh, on the overworld map that I just brought up with the M key. So, by default, when you're first starting the game, they grant you a distance of 15 view range around you on the overworld map. So, from our start position here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 in each direction, that's your starting map view that you're given. But once you start traveling outside of this known area, you're only able to see eh, roughly five spaces around you under normal conditions. So I wanted to demonstrate an advantage that's somewhat new to the game and that I think some people may not be aware of, and that is in regards to height. So there are many multi-story buildings in the game now, and there are roofs on many buildings that players can access either via stairs, ladders, or drain pipes. And by getting more vertical distance or height, you can actually improve the view distance around you that you can see on the overworld map. So I wanted to demonstrate that and also show you some other pretty interesting things with the various objects in the game that increase your view range. So in this example, we've got a nearby town of well, both Gloving, or Glover and Epping. And you'll notice right here we have an office tower. So, this office tower is multi-story. It's the large office tower version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport over to the office tower just to speed things up. We're going to climb to the top floor, take a look around, and then I'm going to show you a couple of interesting things. So let's go ahead and do that. We will use the teleport menu, long range. I'm going to drop us right in the corner of the building here. And turn off safe mode. And there should be a stairwell right here. All right, let's go ahead and just walk our way upstairs. Might have to get rid of a pesky zombie or two on the way. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kill the zombies just so I don't get interrupted. Because that's not the point of this exercise. All right, let's take a look at our map range now. So you see we've got a fairly large circle centered on the position we're on. And this is the fifth floor, level five. You'll notice right here of the office tower. Now if I move the map back down to ground level, you can see we've got a lot more range now. This is the edge of our previous bubble right out here, but now we've got this much larger range centered on the new position we're in. We can see a lot farther around us. Now here's the interesting thing. This is a bonus in itself. Getting to the top is going to give you a good visual range of the local area so you can see what you're dealing with. We've got anthills, we've got some kind of a fungus presence, another fungus presence. Always the fun fungus presence. Um, but here's what I wanted to demonstrate. So we now know what our local map area looks like. Let's do this though. Let's um, move the cursor up to the top here. And we're going to make a map note and normal border. Just to note that, let's turn on the uh, map notes. There we go. So we've got our toggled basic map note right there waiting for us. Now I'm going to summon an item. We're going to spawn in binoculars. Now I could do telescope, the uh, survivor telescope. It's an either or. They do not stack in their bonuses. You can use either binoculars or telescope for the bonus. But having both on you is not going to improve your visual range. So, we've got one binocular in our inventory. Let's move around a bit. I have seen it sometimes take just a little bit for the thing to update. And take a look now. So, this is our new expanded range with the binocular edition. So, if we uh, scroll upwards, you can see just how much of an improvement we just got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 additional view range. Let's put that into perspective on the ground level. Now look what we can see. So let's go ahead and put a marker at that point. Note, uh, binocular range. Bring that back up for a second. But you can see that is a significant bonus, even above what the addition of binoculars would normally provide because of the height bonus that we're essentially getting. Now, there are some other ways you can raise your view range. There are traits, mutations, uh, bionics, and so on that can also do it. Some stack, some don't. It's a little hard to go through all the various combinations, and I'm not going to try to do so. But I am going to put one more change on the character. So let's go into the player menu, mutate, find scout. This is a trait you can start the game with. 
So we're going to go ahead and take that. That gives us the eagle-eyed trait or mutation. And now if we check our map after we move around again for short bits. Our map has now expanded even further. Where did the other one go? <laughs> um, I know I saved a note up here, but uh, let's just count it out. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 was where we were before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 additional spaces. So... Yeah, that is quite the view distance, if you do manage to stack all these up. So, again, we'll put that into perspective on the ground map here. Now, here is what we can see. A very, very large radius is now revealed around the building. So, imagine if you start with the tra scout trait. Pretty valuable when you put it into this perspective. It would really, really speed up your ability to... Kind of explore and view the map. You just hit the nearest town, look for the tallest building, hopefully on the outskirts or edge of a town. For example, I don't see any tall buildings here, with the exception of the school is a three-story building. You could get up onto the roof of that. Another school over there. So if you access the roofs, you'd be able to see out a long range. There's an apartment tower. That's also similar level to this uh, office tower I'm in now, so you would then be able to see a huge range out that direction. So, hopefully this demonstrates the benefits of getting high, uh, both from a map perspective as well as considering how you're going to build your character. Because stacking up these kinds of bonuses in certain ways and knowing that they're possible can really change how your gameplay is going to work by being able to see this much map area and really help you make some decisions on what to visit in what order. Hope you found this information helpful. As always, thanks for your support. Please let me know if you have any ideas for future episodes. I'll be happy to jot them down and get those put out in a quick tip in the future. And feel free to visit me on my Discord channel and uh, check out the live streams on Twitch on occasion. Hope you're having a great day. Stay safe out there.